This is part 18 of ADO.NET tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss loading XML data into SQL Server table using SQL Bulk Copy class. What is the use of the SQL Bulk Copy class? SQL Bulk Copy class is used to bulk copy data from different data sources to SQL Server database. This class is present in system.data.sqlclient namespace. This class can be used to write data only to SQL Server tables. However, the data source is not limited to just SQL Server. Any data source can be used as long as the data from the source can be loaded into a data table instance or read with an iData reader instance. In this demo, we'll look at an example of using data table instance and in a later video session, we'll discuss using an iData reader instance. From a performance standpoint, SQL bulk copy makes it very easy and efficient to copy large amounts of data. Write to server method of SQL bulk copy class copies the supplied data to the destination table. Now let's look at an example. Here we have got an XML document and this XML document contain department and employees data. Notice that at the moment we have got three departments and each department has got ID, name and location. So we want to store this department's XML data into department's table in a SQL Server database. So notice department's table has got ID, name and location. So this XML data is loaded into this department's table. We have three departments in the XML and notice within the destination table also we have three rows and we also have employees data here at the moment we have got five employees notice you know all the five rows are loaded into the employees table and each employee has got ID name gender and department ID and you know those are the columns within the destination database and this department ID is a foreign key referencing ID property within the departments table so let's see how to load this XML data into these two SQL Server tables using SQL bulk copy class let's flip to SQL Server Management Studio so the first step is to actually create these two tables which I have already done and here is the SQL script I have the script on my blog in case you need it now at the moment these tables are empty now let's flip to Visual Studio. So here I have a new empty ASP.NET web application project. All I have done so far is included a connection string to our sample database. So these two tables are present within the sample database and we have a connection string pointing to that database. Now to this project, let's go ahead and add a new item and we want to add an XML file. And let's call this XML file data.xml. And to speed things up, I have already typed the required XML. So this is the same XML that we have seen on the slide. So we have got department and employees data. So there are three departments and five employees. All right, so to this project, let's add a web form. And on this web form, let's drag and drop a button control. And let's flip this to the design mode, double click on the button to generate the click event handler. Now we are going to write some ADO.NET code here. So let's bring in the ADO.NET namespaces. We need system.data, system.data.sql client, and finally, system.configuration. So the first thing that we need to do here is read the connection string from web.config file. And for that, we are going to make use of configuration manager class dot connection strings of the name of the connection string within the web.config file is CS. So read the connection string. And then we are going to create an instance of SQL connection object. And we pass the connection string. All right. Now let's create an instance of a data set. So we are going to use this data set to read the XML data from this XML document into this data set. So data set dot read XML method. And you know, to this method, we need to specify the path of this XML file. And for that, we are going to make use of the server dot map path function. So tilde for slash, the name of the XML file is data dot XML. All right, so let's throw in a breakpoint here and let's run this application in debug mode. And let's actually see how the data is loaded from the XML file 
into the data set. So now let's click that button so it should hit the breakpoint. And if you look at the data within the data set using the data set visualizer, look at that. The department data from the XML file is loaded into department table. And this department table within the data set has got ID location and name columns. And the employee data is loaded into employee data table. And it has got ID, name, gender, department ID columns. All right. So the table names are department and employee within the data set. OK, so let's stop debugging. And now we are going to use SQL bulk copy class to you know, transfer that data from the data set to you know, SQL Server destination tables, which is departments and employees. OK, so first we need to create an instance of our SQL bulk copy class. So using SQL bulk copy. Let's call it BC equals new SQL bulk copy. Now we need to specify the connection it has to use. So what is the job of the SQL bulk copy object? It's going to write data uh, you know, to a SQL Server table. So it has to know the connection information. So we can pass either the connection object or we can pass a connection string you know, since we already have the connection object, let's go ahead and pass the connection object. Okay, now the SQL bulk copy object knows the server, but server and database, but it doesn't know to which table it has to write, right? So we need to specify the destination table to which it has to write the data. And for that, we use this destination table name property and the name of the table to which we want to write data is departments. So we are going to pass that here. And then if you look at the department table within this data set and department table within you know, SQL Server, we need to specify the column mappings. Okay, so from the source, what is the column that maps to ID? From the source, what is the column that maps to name? And what's the column that maps to location? So we need to specify those column mappings. And to do that, we are going to make use of column mappings. And to this property, we are going to add a column mapping. Okay, and we are going to use this overloaded method where we specify the source and destination columns using string data type. So within our source, the column is ID and the destination column is also going to be ID. Similarly, we have name and location columns. So name and location within destination. And if you look at the XML, you know, for a department, the you know, element names are name and location. And these have become the columns within the data table, within the data set, right? So name, and this one is also going to be name. Location, and this will also be location. And finally, we'll have to tell it to write the data to this table. And to do that, we are going to use this write to server method. And to this method, we need to pass the data table. Now, again, there are several overloaded versions. We could either pass you know, a set of data rows or data table or uh, an instance of high data reader. OK, so we are going to use this overloaded version where we pass data table. And you know, within this data set, we have those two tables, department and employees tables. So let's do this. Let's actually create a data table object. Let's call this DT DEPT equals DS dot tables of. And we know that within the data set, there is a table with name department. OK, and similarly, let's also retrieve the employees table. So within the data set, there's a table called employee. And we want to store that in this variable, DTEMP. So we want the data that is present within this object to be written to SQL Server into this departments table. And these are the column 
uh, mappings and SQL bulk copy knows the server and database information because you know this connection object knows we constructed this connection object using the connection string defined in the web.config file all right now this is going to write departments information to the departments table in SQL Server we also want to write the employees information so I'm going to make a copy of this code and then make the required changes so we are creating another instance of SQL bulk copy so this time the destination table is going to be employees and if you look at the employees table we've got ID name gender and department ID columns so we need to specify column mappings here so we have already got ID and name we need um, another column mapping for gender and this one is going to be department ID alright and the final thing we want to take the employees data and then write to the employees table and the employees data is present in DTEMP variable so let's go ahead and pass it here alright so let's run the application and before we click the button let's execute this piece of code notice that at the moment the tables are empty so let's click the button uh, write to server requires an open and available connection so we have forgot to open the connection so let's go ahead and do that so this write to server method requires an open connection so we have the connection object but we failed to open that so let's go ahead and open the connection here alright let's rerun this code and let's click the button alright so now let's go back to SQL Server execute these queries and look at this the data is loaded into these two tables as expected thank you for listening and have a great day